Greetings, everyone. This is First and Thorian 753, starting a series with the game DEFCON. DEFCON is a game based off the 1983 classic War Games with Matthew Broderick. In the movie War Games, Matthew Broderick was a teenager who hacked into NORAD's defense system and ended up playing their uh, global thermonuclear war simulator which he thought he was playing a video game, but he was actually playing with the NORAD defense system. And the people in the United States, in NORAD, were freaking out because they thought they were under attack by the Russians. So um, we're going to go ahead and test this game out. Actually, I've played this game several times so far, but I've only played with uh, United States versus Russia, and that's all I'm doing right now. You can do, actually, um, multiple different... Areas, and you know what? I just realized that I probably set this thing up wrong, and I'm going to back up out of here. Exit Defcon. No, I don't want to exit Def Defcon. Oh, you know what? I have to exit the whole thing. Oh no, leave game. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I set this up wrong. All right, let me try setting this up again correctly. Okay. I need to add one AI player. That's going to be the USSR, and that's going to be me. The AI, uh, the AI player is going to be the United States. USA. Apply, and i got to make sure I give them the United States. I have to make sure I give myself, so you know, I think I forgot to do that last time. And the advanced options, I do want to give myself the opportunity to pause the game. For commentary purposes, if you don't, default is actually starts out on uh, real time. Okay, so now I'm ready. Back into the game. Here we go. DEFCON. We are at DEFCON 5. DEFCON 5 is peacetime. Okay, so we are attacking the United States, so I have to set up my defenses around Russia. Most of the cities in Russia are in the east. So we can def set up defenses here. As far as uh, naval strategy, oh, and I have to, you have to be playing the game to actually deploy things. I'm going to set up some sub-fleets. We're going to send one down there. And a second sub-fleet will be right there. Okay, and I'm actually just going to send them in route right now to where I want them to go. Just south of Mexico. Right there, and we're going to have some fleets to support them. The Soviet Union typically does well to concentrate in the Pacific. Uh, there's likely to be some attack from the Arctic Ocean, so I am going to also send ships here. going to be heavy battleships deal with anybody coming that way. And then the rest of them are going to support Pacific. We're going to concentrate in the Pacific and we are going to advance towards the American Pacific Coast. Okay, deploying radar. Should definitely get a radar site right, right around there. Gonna need some radar defending here. There's a lot of times there'll be attack from the Indian Ocean as well, so you have to prepare for that. We want to prepare for missiles coming over the Arctic. Get another one right here, and then right, right in the middle actually. That's our radar. Air bases, I want to deploy one out here. Up in there. That's good. That gives me good range. Um, we'll need one to defend there, two to defend there, and then one right down in there. Good. That'll defend against the southern attack. And then the other thing we need to deploy are the silos, which also act as missile defense. So these are important. One there, one 
there. No, I can put a silo down there. Right there. We'll need one to defend the center. Probably want one defending over here, and then we should probably concentrate our silos here. Okay. That should cover things. Now, the goal is to actually kill as many people as possible, which is horrible. Uh, but this is nuclear war. And uh, that's Santa Claus, by the way. Um, so we have to knock out as many American cities as possible. We actually have more missiles than we need. And in the Cold War, I think even today, the United States and the Soviet Union, or today Russia, they have enough missiles to blow up the world several times, apparently. The trick is that we are going to try to destroy their missiles before they are launched. That's the key in this game. And that's kind of why they have more missiles than they need, because if some of them get destroyed in the first strike, then, you know, you're up the river without the paddle, pretty much. And, um... So we're going to try to destroy as many as we can before they're actually launched. We can't launch any attacks until DEFCON 3. So we're not at war until DEFCON 3. We can't launch nuclear strikes until DEFCON 1. Now the strategy is going to be, I'm going to park these subs down here. Uh, south of the United States and south of Mexico. And they are going to launch... Actually, I'm going to put one a little bit closer. Right there is good. And... Right there is good. They're going to launch some surprise attacks on the cities here. What I have to do is knock out these silos. Knocking out these silos, once they launch, they actually reveal themselves. So if you can hit them quickly after their first launches, then you're going to knock out the majority of their missiles. And they typically have like eight, six, six to eight missiles. Uh, the subs have, I, wanna, I can't tell you how many they have right now, it looks like they have five. Alright. Each aircraft carrier has some bombs as well. They have bombers and they have fighters. Fighters are more of scouts and air defense. Battleships are escort ships. Actually, I probably should have put the battleships here, there's a way to figure that out. I did not do. So, what I'm going to try to do in the early round... Whoa, oh my god, there's the fleet. Okay. Um, did we fire on them yet? I don't think you can... No, not until DEFCON 3, which is in 5 minutes. In 5 minutes, we will be able to engage them. Let's just park these guys over here, actually. Get them a little... Bit away. Those, that's our carrier fleet. Four carriers in that fleet. These subs, as long as these subs are undetected, will do well. Okay, so I gotta try to take out their ships, their airfields, their radars, and as many of their air defenses as possible before DEFCON 1, before they start the launch. That's the goal. These guys, I'm still going to move the entire fleet north towards Alaska. And this fleet is going to move them closer to the coast, I think. We are right on top of each other. This is crazy. Alright, as soon as DEF CON 3 hits, we're going to have some action, so let's just speed things up. Usually they've got about two fleets out here guarding the Pacific coast, so we can we're gonna overwhelm them here. And that'll clear the coastline for our subs. We'll try to pick off as many air bases and radar stations as possible, maybe some silos if we get lucky. They'll probably send some subs up here, which if they show up here will uh, as soon as they launch their missiles they'll become visible and uh, we'll knock them out. And there'll probably be a fleet down here. But I've got some Pretty good defenses. I probably should put some more air defenses. We got radar. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. One minute. Death count three. And the ships will automatically attack each other. I don't have to actually command them to do so. Sometimes commanding them does help. These ships are right on top of each other. This is crazy. There it is. Okay, slow down a little bit there. Whoa, man, that was crazy. What I want to do is launch some of these fighters. And see if we can't support these attacks. Take out some of these ships. Okay. We've got action. The subs are not going to engage. The subs are going to try to get past them. Here, I want to launch bombers, and it does take time to actually change, so let's do that ahead of time, get them ready to launch, change from launching fighters to bombers. Alright, so I got one of their ships, two of their ships, this fleet should probably move this way, find out where the rest of that fleet is. If you can take out their aircraft carriers before their planes are launched, that's huge. Again, uh, how, how you win the game, I don't think I mentioned that, you win the game after a certain number of nuclear missiles have been destroyed, or nuclear bombs have been destroyed, I think it's about something like, I might have to set to 80%, there will be a victory clock uh, that starts, I think, at 45 minutes, and uh, 45 minutes after 80% of the nuclear weapons are destroyed, whoever has the highest score wins. And this is just, you get a point for every uh, million people you kill, and you lose, Negative for every million that you lose. So. Yes, no one really wins in nuclear war, by the way. It's kind of ridiculous that they actually had strategies to win a nuclear war, but I guess when you're in that situation, you have to come up with those strategies. Oh, we just lost the carrier. We've got fighters en route here. And our subs are sneaking by their Pacific Fleet defenses. I don't know where... 20 seconds and I'll plane launch here. There are typically some bases in Alaska which I would like to find. I think it's better to engage the American fleet at sea because you're not close to any air defenses from the coast. Once we wipe these fleets out, we'll move in closer to the coast and try to find out where their air defenses are, where their air bases are, where their silos are, um, and we can destroy all that. And once that gets destroyed, if their air defenses are down, and their fleets are down, and their air bases are down, and there's nothing really contending with these subs. But it's tough to find all, all the silos. I've got another fighter. USA fighter. That's my fighter. It doesn't say that's my fighter. I think we've taken out most of their carriers. They only have one carrier left. So if we can s knock out that carrier, which we just did, all these planes are eventually going to run out of fuel, including that bomber. Might as well move. Yeah, we are moving them closer. Okay, good. That fleet's moving closer, so we can pick up these planes because they do have a limit on how long, how far they can fly. Some of them might be reaching their limit, their fuel range. And there's my bomber. All right, basically, it is time to start moving this fleet. Further, closer to the Alaskan coast, even though you can't really seem to get any closer. Let's launch some fighters. Nope. Yep. There's one. There's two. Launch some fighters there. Scouts to see what we got. We've got one bomber en route. They can't drop a bomb until DEFCON 1, so we got time for that. 
think we did a pretty good job of wiping out their fleets, their two fleets here. They're going to have two more fleets of surface ships, and they'll probably have two fleets of subs. Looks like we got a good win here. These guys got to start getting back on, getting back to the aircraft carriers. save as many of these planes. Sometimes these planes forget to go back. This guy. And they end up crashing. This one looks like it's going to crash soon if you don't land. Try to save as many of these as possible. firing and land. Land aircraft. Wow, that battleship is getting annihilated. Okay, first flighter. Uh, fighter. For scouting mission is in route. We'll take it to the uh, northern coast of Alaska. Before it turns around, this thing needs to land. You need to land, too. You land right there. Oh, man. Get there. Get there, fighter. He's not gonna make it. No way is he gonna make it. Come on, baby. No, you're done. Probably full. So I wonder if there's a capacity on these aircraft carriers. Oh my god. Bail out. Get there. Nope, you didn't make it. Okay. Hopefully we can save as many of these fighters as possible. I want to find out where things are. Wow, look at this. You don't need to be flying. You don't need to be flying. Come on, get back to your ships. Everyone's wiped out. Alright, I'm not seeing anybody here in Alaska. We are at DEFCON 2. Usually there's something around here. Let's send another fighter out this way. Santa Claus is off the east coast, South Carolina. We've got nine minutes till DEFCON 1. And then we're going to go nuclear. I think we did pretty good. We only lost three ships. Wow, a lot of fighters. We're losing a ton of fighters because they're not landing. Where are you going? Still say, oh, there's the radar. Nice. I'm gonna target you. Take out that radar. Another bomber. There we go. Two bombers in route. Send another one that way. Okay, I got it. Uh, this is pretty cool because you look at their orders, see where everyone's going.
There's our orders. It's probably too far in the range. There we go. Uh, let's see. So we found a radar. We gotta find some air bases. And the silos. That is critical. Fighters are headed towards those ships. Alright, these guys, we're going to move close to the coast. And as soon as we grab these fighters, we'll move them close to the coast over here. Bomber launch in 20 seconds. DEFCON 1 in 6 minutes. Let's speed things up. Any air bases or silos in Alaska. 